Well, hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm Renee and I have got, um, they had chicken legs at my local butcher, uh, leg quarters. They were on sale for 69 cents a pound. So I took advantage. I bought 10 pounds of them and I thought, you know what? I'm going to do an oven fried chicken for the freezer. So there's a moth. So I'm going to show you how I do that. And some of these are going to go for TV dinners, and we're also going to have some for dinner tonight. So let's get going here. You're staring right in my bowl. Now, I am using Bizquick. My mother gave me this thing of Bizquick, and I thought, well, I'll use it. I won't let it go to waste. You can use regular flour if you want, but I'm going to use this Bizquick. And I've got so much chicken, so I'm putting uh, probably two and a half cups in there for right now. Okay, and to this, I'm going to add paprika, and I've got the beautiful smoked paprika, and I'm going to do a nice tablespoon in there, maybe a little bit more. So I love this stuff, okay? And you can add whatever spices you want. It's also good if you use a little bit of Italian seasoning in it. Seasoning in it. I'm going to use some onion powder. Because that's wonderful. About a tablespoon. And I'm also going to use some garlic. Um, granulated garlic. And I'm probably going to use a good tablespoon of that too. And that onion powder I put in here is onions that I dehydrated and made into powder. We put just a little more of that paprika in there. Okay. Now we're going to do some pepper. And I'm going to have to grind it. That's gorgeous. My chicken is all cleaned. It's, um, I didn't debone it, but I split the legs and thighs and I cut the tail off and the extra fat and the schmutz in it and got it all cleaned up really good. It's in my sink getting ready to go in the coating. So it's still damp. Oh, look at that. There we go. We're just going to give that a good mix. Beautiful. You can even do this in a Ziploc bag. I'm just doing so much, I'm using my big daddy bowl. But you could put it all in a little Ziploc bag and shake it, just like shake and bake. Works beautiful. Let me put a little salt in that. Um, seasoning salt would be good, but I don't think I have any of that. Let me get a little bit more on that. Okay, we're good. We got lots of salt. That's going to be good. And smoked paprika is going to give it just a wonderful flavor. Okay, let me mix the salt up here. All right, I need to put this away so I have room. Where did my... I'll set it over here. Get out of the way. Over here, you'll see on my stove, let me move my big bowl. You see I've got two trays here, and I've got a little olive oil sprinkled on each of them. Um, I don't like using butter because I don't use butter much anymore. So I got mine with a little olive oil. You can use butter, oil, whatever. And I just take my little brush here. I got parchment paper because it is nice, easy cleanup too. And I just spread it around a little bit so that everything's coated. You can probably not see this, but all I'm doing is just spreading it around. Okay, beautiful. All right, so now I'm going to start putting the chicken right in here. Put this down so you can see in the bowl. I've got lots of it. It's all cleaned, rinsed, no schmutz, nothing worse than having a piece of chicken that has that icky schmutz in the thigh. I hate that. Okay. Rinse that one off. Let me rinse my hands and I'll be right with you. Okay, 
Okay, my oven is at 425 degrees. That's a good picture there. Okay, I'm just going to mix this around here. Make sure everything gets coated beautifully. This is how easy it is to cook in big batches. I love it. And this stuff freezes beautifully. And then when you reheat it, you just put it back in the... If you put it in the microwave, friends, it gets soggy and disgusting. So if you just put it on a tray, even frozen, from frozen, put it on a tray, put it in the oven to reheat it, it will be beautiful. Look at how gorgeous that stuff is. This is going to be beautiful. This is going to be delicious. Okay. I think we got it all coated pretty good. Take a look at that. This is so nice when you got a big family and they love fried chicken. My family loves fried chicken, but I don't, very seldom do I fry chicken in oil anymore. I usually just put it in the oven. I do roasted chicken, whatever. But these are good. Now you're going to want to lay these down. Let me put you up here. Okay, we're going to slide this side so you can see this. You're going to want to lay these skin side down on your tray. And you are going to flip them about halfway through. Okay? And if it doesn't look like it's coated enough, give it another shake in there. There we go. can see that okay? Yeah, you can see that okay. Dang, that's going to be gorgeous. Okay, we'll put a few legs in here. And I like to lay my legs just so, so they fit together nice and snug. If you don't have enough coating on it, just roll it around in there a little more. You'll get it. But that's what I find the easiest way to get it all coated is a big old bowl. Oh, hang on, friends. I'm getting crazy here, and I knocked my phone over. Okay. Okay, that one is filled. We're going to set this aside. Because it's all going to be in the oven. I want it to go in at the same time. Legs. There, now you can see it. This is going to be really crispy and delicious. And then my husband will be able to take this out on the road as well and uh, reheat it in his air fryer. And it'll be delicious for him. But I couldn't pass up that sale. So you have to figure out how to do it. And this is the best way for me today. Everything's getting so costly that when you find a sale, you take advantage of it. Look at that. Put that piece of skin up over there. Okay, last piece. No, I've got one piece in there. I messed it. Okay. So there we go. Let me wash my hands. Okay, so there we have the beautiful chicken and I'm just gonna give it a little bit more pepper. Because my family loves it, even the grandkids. Something about pepper in this family. I think it's in our blood. Okay, these are gonna go in the oven. Oh, I say about 45 minutes. Or until, you know, chicken's got to be 165 degrees. So you got to make sure it's done. So that's going to go in there. 
in about 45 minutes. We'll check it, and I'll bring you back, and I'll show you how wonderful it turns out. Okay, friends. This is all done, and look how crispy that is. And it's nice and tender. The juice runs clear. See that? All these beautiful, these will be perfect. Let me turn my oven off. These will be perfect for the freezer. Now, we're going to have a few of these pieces for dinner tonight. But the rest, I'm just going to let it cool off. And then I'm going to transfer it onto two other sheet pans, put them in the freezer to flash freeze, and then I'll package them in Ziploc bags, and they're all ready to be used. Some of these are going to go into my TV dinners, and um, some of them are just going to go in, into the freezer for my husband's truck. So there you have it, friends. Thanks for watching.